All right, everybody. Just got back from the bank. And I called a lot of banks because a, a lot of them do not have these on hand. But these are sealed $25 Loomis rolls of dollar coins. And if you saw by the title of this video, a mule error would be like the Holy Grail, but they've been found before, so who knows? But there's also many other possible errors, and we'll discuss all of them during this video. Let's get this started. Hopefully we find something cool. We got a sack of on this side and a presidential dollar on this side. This is going to be fun. We don't know what we're going to find in here, everybody. We can find proof coins, errors, hopefully something extremely valuable. Okay. Now, on all these presidential dollars, always check the writing on the rim. You see how this one has writing here? Let's see if this will focus a little bit. If it's missing the writing, that is an error on any president dollar. Okay? So if you ever see the writing on the edge missing, that's over that's over $50. Oh, don't even This is a sackage we a dollar. Now I'm going to tell you multiple things to look for on this. So here's a couple things that we're looking for. One is a Cheerio dollar, which is possible. There's 5500 that were made. If the tail has lines going through the feathers on just the tail. That would be a Cheerio dollar. But you see how this one is just kind of worn and it's just, there's no lines on the feathers going um, uh, diagonal. It's not a Cheerio dollar. Also, if there's a line going through the eagle's body, if there's, a, I actually own one of these in my collection. If, if there's a line going through the eagle's body, it's called a wounded eagle. It's, it's about $300. So those are multiple things that I'm looking for. We are searching dollar coins live, writing on the edge. Somebody said they have that error. You got it from your dad. Well, your dad is a very smart man. A wounded eagle is like $300. We're going to search through three rolls. If I find a wounded eagle live, that would be so cool. And now everyone, here's one of the holy grails, okay? Well, I'm saying to look for See how the front's a Sacagawea dollar? If you find one and it has the back of a presidential dollar, so like, if, for example, instead of this eagle, you find this on the back, that has been found before and been sold for over 80 grand. A couple mule errors with like quarters on them and other stuff have sold for $144,000. So that would... Is, okay, hold on. It looks like the writing is missing or is it worn here's a presidential dollar i i don't see any writing at all everybody if there's no writing on this this is over 50 dollars look this is what i'm talking about you all see the difference There's no writing on this coin right here. Now, everyone, you just watched me find a $50 dollar coin error, and you can look on your dollar coins for this. No writing on a presidential dollar is a major error, and you just watched me find it live. This is my first roll. I just got it from the bank. Not many people know about this. So I need everybody to help me out and hit that like button. We have 600 people in here and only 47 likes. Now, come on, everybody. This is really fun. I love doing this. We got to get some thumbs up in here. Let's get some thumbs up going. This is just a regular sack. And Sacagawea dollars, a lot of them don't have writing on the edge already. Uh, actually, almost all of them. So this is not an error. This is just regular coin. Now we're at 91 thumbs up. Thank you. And you want to know how you know this is definitely an error? Now, everybody, look. This is the same exact coin, right? You see how 
this one has writing and the other one doesn't. This is the same exact coin. And I'll put this under a microscope. It might be worn. Hopefully it's not, but it looks pretty good to me. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay, here's another thing to look for. This is a 1979 Susan B. Anthony. If you find one and the nine is close to the rim, it is called a wide rim Susan B. Anthony. And you only look for that on 1979. This one is far away from the nine, so it's not the error. But, I mean, look at this roll coming up. It, it might be on this one. I can't see. But that is something to look for on Susan B. Anthony's. Okay? So everyone watching this video, I'm going to go through my finds at the end. Make sure... Um, this is going to be a really very, very helpful vet video because... There's going to be a lot of useful information in here. Oh, this one. Oh, you can see the writing right there. So this one's just a bit worn, I think. This one's just, yeah, that one's just worn. All right, we have 197 likes in here. Let's see if we can get that over. We're about to get over 200 right now. I would love to find a wounded eagle. I have found one in the past, a, a while ago. I still have it. A wounded eagle is where there's a line going through the eagle's body. And if you don't know what that is, you could actually Google a picture of that, which is about the only thing Google's good for is pictures of errors. It'll really help you when you actually try to find one. Oh, there's a different reverse. I guess that's one of the newer reverses. I, I don't even know if I've ever seen one of these. Interesting. Okay, first roll done. That was a damn good start. All right, everyone, I want you to pick. What should we do next? Roll one or roll two? Put it in the chat. If you want to see roll one first, press, put one in the chat. If you want to see roll two with the Susan B. Anthony on top, press two. Whatever I see more of. Oh, my goodness. Everybody picked two. Jesus. All right, number two. We will do number two. That, was, that wasn't even close. Number two. Let's do number two. Damn, we got a... Looks like a lot of Susan B. Anthony's in here. We might be able to find a wide rim. That would be really cool. All right, let's let's see what these are. Susan B. Anthony. Not a wide rim. You would you would want the rim to be very close to the nine. That'd be a forty dollar coin if we find that. Uh... Nope. 
Nope. Jeez, I don't know what that is, but that was in the middle of a coin roll. And you wonder why I wear gloves. Always looking for the Cheerio dollar and a wounded eagle. Line through the eagle's body or detailed feathers with lines going through each feather. This is just one of the newer, uh, one of the reverses for a Sacagawea. 2000P. Yang Chen, you found a wide rim two days ago. Nice, congratulations. I mean, yeah, even circulated examples are between $10 and $20. So... I, I've actually found proof coins. I've actually found... Whoa. Everybody, look at the toning on this. That is cool. That's nice. Is that a wounded eagle? H hold on here. Hold on. Right there. No, that's, uh, I think that's damage. But that's almost what a wounded eagle would look like. It would, that's, that's damage. But this is really nice toning. I'm going to keep this anyway, just because it's toned really cool. <laughs> and sometimes tone coins will suffer a bit more. Just a really nice tone, tone sackage we a dollar. I'm going to keep that one. And yeah, everybody, I just picked these. Uh, I just picked these up from the bank. What is? They got a lot of designs on these Sacagawea dollars. Look at this one. I haven't seen many of these. Pretty cool. That's also somewhat interesting. Why? It almost looks like somebody tried to gold plate this. You see that? It almost looks like somebody tried to gold plate this. Interesting. Oh, here's another Susan B. Anthony. Not a wide rim. All right, everybody. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Everybody in here, really quick. We got a whole nother roll, and this one we still got some more coins. Looks like we got a lot of Susan B. Anthony's coming up. Everybody hit that thumbs up. Let's get this over three or four hundred. There's three hundred thumbs up. And that right there, that's from a coin roller. You see that ring right there, everybody? That's called the ring of death. Not a wide rim. Okay. Another Susan B. Anthony. I want to I want to find that wide rim. It's possible. If that nine if we find one where the nine is close to the rim. I mean, you're talking like 10 to 20 bucks, even circulated, and in real nice condition, they go upwards of 40. All right, everyone. Now I'm really going to need the positive vibes. We got one more roll. Presidential dollar on this side. And well, presidential dollar on that side, unless it's a mule error. So 
A mule, a mule error is very rare, but they have been found. You never know till you look. Here we go. Last roll, everybody. And I'll, I'll go through my finds at the end. I'll, I'll go through my finds at the end. And also, everybody, this entire video is going to be posted on the channel so you can rewatch it. Um, there's a lot of good educational tips in this video. I would love to find a proof dollar too, which is I have found before in some of these rolls. Come on, let's find something really cool. We've already got a couple of good things. James Monroe. There's a 1980. There's a 1980 Susan B. Anthony, but that's you, the the wide rim is not on the 1980. But the, but that is pretty much how it would look on the 1979, which is what one of the things we're looking for on some of those Susan B. Anthony's. And everyone, I do have more rolls. I'll do some more soon. Hold on, I didn't check the rim of this one. Yeah. Mike says, how much do you pay for three rolls? These are $25 rolls, everybody. So three rolls is $75. If you don't find anything, you just return them. So you're not really paying anything. I actually got $500 worth. So we're going to be doing more more of these dollar coin searches soon because finding an error on a dollar coin is usually very valuable this one's pretty circulated andrew johnson Everybody, real quick, we got about five more coins left. Let's get this up to 400 thumbs up. We can do it. Everybody, let's get this up to 400 likes. We only need about 30 likes. And yes, um, when you go into your bank, you just say, do you have any dollar coins? Um, I actually called ahead and there were five of my banks did not have it. And then one finally did and I just picked up everything. I just took all of them. There's 400. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's see if we can end this strong. And I'm going to go through all my finds at the end. And again, this video is going to be posted on the channel, so you'll be able to listen back to it if you want to learn about any of those errors. I talked about a bunch of them. Oh, there is some writing on there. Yeah. Oh, man, if the last one would have been a wide room, that would have been awesome. All right, so here's pretty much what we found. Wasn't the best search ever. I, I just put these aside because these are these are designs I don't usually see on these Sacagawea we had dollars, especially this one. So I put those aside. I found a beautiful toner. Look at this, look at this toning on this Sacagawea we had dollar, everybody. 
It, it, it looks amazing on a golden dollar. I think that's pretty awesome. And then one presidential dollar missing the writing, which is like $50 and up. But yeah, amazing search, everybody. This will be posted on the channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some more searches soon. I still have probably 15 more rolls to do. So I hope everyone enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon. All right. Bye, everyone.